In the torrent of darkness among the gusty trees, the moon was a ghostly galley and it tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. He the French cocked hat on his forehead, a bunch of lace at his chin, a coat of the claret velvet and breeches of brown doeskin. They fitted with never a wrinkle, his boots, his boots were up to the fire, and he rode with a jewel twinkle, his, his pistol butts a twinkle, his rapier hilt a twinkle under the jeweled sky. Over the cobbles he clatters and clashed in the darkened yard, and he tapped with his rip on the shutters, the door was locked and barred. Oh, he whistled a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot in her long black hair. And in the dark, dark old inn yard, the stable wicked creeped, where Tim the ostler listened, his face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollow as a madness, his hair was like holy may, but he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red lit daughter. Then as the dog he listened, and he heard the robber say, and kiss my bonnie sweetheart, I'm after a prize tonight, but I'll shoot up, but I shall be back with the yellow gold before the morning light. Yet if, yet if they press me sharply and harry me through the day, then look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight, I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell shall bar the way. He rose up in the stirrups, his, his, he scarce could reach her hand, but she loosened her hair, I, the casement, his face burnt like a brand as the black sailor perfume came tumbling over his breast, and he kissed its waves in the moonlight, those sweet black waves in the moonlight, then he tugged at his rein in the moonlight and galloped to the west. He did not come in the dawning, he did not come at noon, and out of the tawny sunset before the rise of the moon. When the road was a gypsy broken, he flew for the front and wall. A red coat troop came marching, marching, marching. King George's men came marching up to the old inn door. They said no word to the landlord, but drank his ale instead. But they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of a narrow bed. Two of them knelt at her casement, the muskets at their side. There was death at every window, hell at one dark window. For Bess could see through the casement the road that he would ride. They had tied her up to attention with many a sniggering jest. He had bowed the musket behind her with the barrel beneath her breast. Now keep good watch they kissed her, she heard the dead man say, Look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight, I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell shall bar the way. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. She withered her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. They stretched the strange in the darkness, and all an hour was pulled by a white wood. So now on the stroke of midnight, told on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it, the trigger was at least hers. The tip of one finger touched it, she strove no more for the rest. She up she stood to attention with a barrel beneath her breast. She would not risk the hearing, she would not strive again, for the road lay bare in the moonlight, blank and bare in the moonlight, and the blood of her veins in the moonlight robbed her, her, robbed her, her love's revenge. Clot, 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 he had, had, they heard it, the horse hoofs ringing clear, clot, 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 in the distance, was a death that they did not hear, drawn the ribbon of moonlight over the brow of the hill. Hiram man came riding, riding, riding. The red coat looked to her priming. She stood up straight and still. Clot, clot in the frosty silence. Clot, clot in the echoing night. Nearer he came and nearer. Her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment. She drew one last deep breath. And her finger moved in the moonlight. Her musket shattered in the moonlight. Shattered her breast in the moonlight and warred him with her death. He turned his span to the west. He did, he did, he did not know who stood. Bowed with her head over her musket, drenched with the head of her um, red blood. Not till the dawn he heard it. His face was burnt in the face of the
Randall's daughter, the landlord's black-eyed daughter, had watched for her love in the moonlight and died in the darkness there. Back he spurred like a madman, shrieking curse to the sky, with, with the right row smoking behind him and the radio brandished high. Blood, were, blood red were his spurs, I, the golden moon wine red was his velvet coat when they crossed him down on the highway. Dawn like a dog in the highway, and he lay in his bed on the highway with a bunch of lace hats. And still of a winter's night, they say when the wind is in the under trees, the moon is a ghostly galleon, tossed from cloudy seas. When the road is with the moonlight, over the purple moor, a higher man comes riding, 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 higher man comes riding up to the old moor. Over the cobbles he glances and pants and barking at he taps on his wolf on his shutters, the sword is locking the bar. He whistles to a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there? But the landlord's black eyed daughter, best the landlord's daughter, patting a, a dark red love knot into her dark hair.